If you're somebody who needs applications like Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint on the go, Documents to Go is for you. Biz Inc. has a solution for you. Pretty hefty price of $15, but let's take a look and see if it's worth it. Alright guys, so here we have the icon for Documents to Go. So it's a full application. We'll go ahead and tap on it to take us right into the application. You can see it here. Uh, you got Recent Files, uh, which we can tap on, and you can see the Recent Files. So I pulled up a test PDF right here for you guys to see. You can see it right here. Um, again, since it's pro version, you have things like pinch to zoom, which I guess, at least from the description, from what I can tell, you don't have um, if you don't have the pro version. So you can see um, pinch to zoom is kind of choppy, actually. The text kind of goes away and, and flickers and all kinds of stuff. You also got uh, zoom buttons right here, which seem to work a little bit better as far as performance, but you can still see the text kind of flicker. Um, you got starred files right here. Um, so if you want a star file for importance, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, you also got locals right here, local files, and you can actually scan all around on your SD card or all the files you have on your phone to pull something up. Uh, you have Google Docs. Uh, if you want to sign into Google Docs, you can pull down all your documents right from Google, which is really, really, really cool. And you have desktop files uh, where you can actually sync between your desktop. And you can see all the things that this application supports. It's pretty insane. Uh, anyways, we'll hit plus. We can create a new um, document, Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. We'll go ahead and tap on PowerPoint. You can see it right here. First slide. Uh, you can zoom in. You can zoom out. Zoom in a little bit. Tap the back button. Tapping menu. We'll hit on file. You can hit new, open, close, save, save as, send via email. Uh, you have edit, toggle keyboard, select, and a whole bunch of different options once you do things. Uh, you can change the slide order. You have view, zoom, find, slide view, notes, previous slide, uh, go to slide. If we do slide view, you can see it right here, the different slides. And again, you can full on create a PowerPoint presentation right on here. You can change the format, uh, and you can also insert a slide or duplicate a slide. And then you have more, which includes file properties, helps, and then preferences. Uh, which is format for new files, name, and initials. Um, and you can, again, legitimately create these different documents. So we have an Excel. We also have Word. Uh, so here's Word to go, full on, tap menu. We have file for this. Same thing as before, edit. Uh, same thing as before, view. Um, slightly different for Word. You know, comments, footnotes, endnotes, table of contents. Uh, so if I go to comments, you can see right there. Uh, not on here. Footnotes, if I had any, they'd come up. Uh, table of contents, if we set those up, they would come up there. Uh, format, bold, italic, underline, font, paragraph, bullets, numbering, hyperlink, bookmark, increase, indent, decrease, indent. Uh, insert, you can insert a page break, bookmark, hyperlink, table, or comment. Uh, so you see I can hit table, hit OK, and it'll legitimately put a table on here. I can zoom out to view it more, zoom in to view it a little bit better. All kinds of stuff. It's almost a, it it is an optimized version of Word and Excel and PowerPoint for a mobile phone. Uh, you can see performance is actually pretty decent. The menus themselves definitely work very well. We have a gear button right here for the about, check for updates, give us feedback, advanced option, and manage desktops. If I go to manage desktops, uh, you do have to pair them. And if I go to advanced options, um, you can hide the premium key if you'd like. Um, you can see it says featuring intact technology. It's one of the things that help this application run, I guess. Uh, you can see all the different files that this actually supports as well. Um, so if you're one of those people who are in any way businessy or schooly, uh, you need some documents to go as far as the applications there, this is definitely the application for you. All right, guys, so I guess a lot of people really need these services because it has over half a million downloads with an average 4.3 out of 5 star rating. Decent rating uh, for a decent set of applications. You know, it's not full on Microsoft Word like I'm sure Microsoft would be able to make the app for Android for, uh, nor is Excel, nor is PowerPoint. But for the gist of what those applications can do on your desktop, you can do them on the phone uh, for the most part and do them pretty well and pretty efficiently. Um, and again, $15, half a million downloads, that's some really good success. So do I think it's worth it? If you really need those applications, yes, it's worth it. If you don't, I would say try to use it when you're at home and you know hold off on dropping $15 on applications that are built all into one and not by the company who makes those applications, which all in all just mean that it's not going to be as good as if the company made the applications themselves. So thanks you guys for watching. Have a great day.